Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle Ferre and I'm a fourth grade teacher in Maryland. I'm at my local Lakeshore Learning Store today to do a little back to school shopping for my classroom. In my opinion, Lakeshore Learning is like teacher heaven because they have some of the highest quality and most functional products for teachers. And the best part is they are running a back to school sale where you can get hundreds of items for 20% off. Plus they have door busters in store up to 50% off. So I'm gonna take you all with me while I shop around the store and then I will show you all my goodies once I get back home. Lakeshore Learning and I cannot wait to show you all all of the goodies that I got because I was literally like a kid to candy store not even kidding I spent a good like two hours there just shopping so I'm gonna go through I'm gonna show you every item that I got I'm gonna explain a little bit about like why I got it and then how I'm gonna use it in my classroom but first I did just want to remind you all that Lakeshore is having their back to school sale they have amazing sales going on 20% off of thousands of items plus if you go in store and shop they do have the door busters up to 50% off bonus if the item you want is not on sale, I do have a coupon for you using code 7880. I also will link the actual coupon down in the description for you. Now just warning you, I literally have like bags and bags of stuff. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you every item because I wanna be able to be detailed, but just warning you, it's probably gonna be a little bit of a long video, but I'm gonna kind of group it by like type of item and I'm gonna start with decor items. So of course when I went there, one of the first things I looked at was border. Because if you are a teacher and you go into Lakeshore Learning and you don't buy border, you need to show me your ways because I can't do it. I just look at all the beautiful border and I just have to buy it. So this first thing the border is by Teacher Creative Resources. And this is a magnetic border. So it is black and white polka dots, which I really like because you all know that I love black and white. But the reason I love magnetic border is because it is perfect for putting up around your whiteboard because you can remove it when you need to clean the board and then put it right back up there and this stuff lasts forever like you can use this for years and years on end and it's not going to get messed up as long as your students aren't up touching it but I don't know why they would be it seriously lasts such a long time the next item that I got as soon as y'all see this like you should not be surprised at all this is a black and white striped border and this is by creative teaching press now no surprise y'all know I love my black and white I actually had this border in my classroom last year and I got more of it just in case because I may put up some other like bulletin boards kind of on my walls and like make them into bulletin boards when they're not really bulletin boards. But the reason I love this border is because it is so neutral. It's just black and white. And then what I love to do is actually pair that with other like colored border. So let me show you. I got a bunch of Bordet. Now I love Bordet because I feel like you get a lot of it for the price. Bordet kind of has this like I don't even know how to describe it, but like it goes up and then down. It's like a wave kind of thing on the actual border, but it comes in these rolls and I got it in this like lime green color. I think it's actually called Nile green. And then this pretty blue, which is called Azure. And then I got plain white and then I got magenta. So what I really like about this is it actually comes like double. As you can see, there are like two separate pieces and teacher hack for you what you can actually do is measure out one side of your bulletin board when you cut the border don't separate it yet if you cut both pieces when you separate them then you have one side of your bulletin board and the other side of your bulletin board so really it takes half the time to put up a bulletin board which is awesome i love bordet if you've never tried it highly recommend it 
And of course, because I'm getting border, I had to get something to organize it in because y'all know I'm all about organization. So I got this border storage pack. I actually had one of these when I first started teaching and I don't know what happened to it. I feel like when I moved classrooms, maybe I didn't bring it with me, I don't know. So you store all of your border in the pockets on the inside and then you actually roll it up and it comes out as just this thin, like long part. This is not the full height of it, it actually extends out longer. But I love this because it doesn't take up a lot of space, but yet it holds a ton of border and then once you have it all folded up you can actually just hang it like in a closet and it keeps all of your border nice and straight and you don't have to worry about like rolling it up and storing it because then I feel like it's all wrinkly and when you try to put it on your board it doesn't look as nice so I highly recommend if you've never had one of these they are awesome next I got some posters and it's funny because when I think back to elementary school I remember my teachers but I don't remember much other than the posters that were in the room. And it's just very ironic, but I can distinctly remember certain like motivational posters that they had in their classroom. Because if you think about it, your students are in your room for a lot of the time during the day, and they just notice those posters. Even if they're not looking at them all the time, they notice that they're there and they remember them. And honestly, I've never had a lot of like motivational posters up around my room, so I kind of want to fix that. And when I saw these, they just spoke to me. <laughs> not only because of what they said, but also just the color of them. I just felt like it fit me and my personality really well. So this first one says, don't decide that you can't before you discover that you can. So this goes really well with like growth mindset. This next one I think is my favorite poster ever. <laughs> when I saw it, I just had to get it. Like there was no option. It says feel the learn and it just has this brain and I thought it was the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I think that's going to become my new like catchphrase in my room because I just love it. This next one kind of has like a chalkboard look to it and it says, you never fail until you stop trying Albert Einstein. And again, that goes with the whole like growth mindset factor, which I love. And then this one just spoke to me again, because y'all know I am all about positivity and this just fit my brand so well. It says, think positive and positive things will happen. One thing I did want to know about those posters, I actually got them laminated at Lakeshore Learning. I do have a personal laminator, but it only fits like portrait or landscape size papers. I cannot do posters that are that large. So I actually laminated them right in the store. And I will recommend to you, if you laminate with one of those larger laminators, make sure you leave a small border of lamination around the edge don't cut right up against the poster because then it will peel and come off over time but if you leave a little bit of an edge it will last much longer the next thing that I got was this huge like poster set I've actually never bought one of these while teaching um, I don't know why I've always just made my own posters but when I saw this one I really really liked it it comes with a place value chart a hundred chart fraction equivalents multiplication table and addition table now, honestly, I'm not going to use like the hundreds chart or the addition table just because my students don't really need it. So what I'll do is I'll give it to one of the other teachers. I know I have a couple second grade teachers right across the hall from me. I will see if they want it. If not, I'll go to like first grade or kindergarten. I'm sure one of the teachers would be happy to have them. Now, these are made so you can actually write on them and like wipe off. So I didn't need to laminate these because they already have that like shiny postery kind of material. I don't know how to describe it, but you know what I'm talking about. But I love that these are just very crisp and clear and they have bright colors and I just really really like these and a lot of posters I feel like are too busy but these ones just had a very clean look overall. So some more decor type items. I did get this set of magnetic letters. This is kind of like the chalkboard with bright color look, which you guys know I love in my classroom. I love having black and then accenting with bright colors. But the reason I got these is because they are already magnetic. And in the past, I would buy just the regular letters and then I would laminate them and put magnets on the back. First of all, it's great because they do last a long time, but it's time consuming. And over time, the magnets started to peel off because my room does tend to be very humid. So I love that these are actually made with the magnet already on the back. So I just think that these will work a lot better for me in my classroom. So I love to use these on my whiteboard to label like my anchor charts or to have them as like the heading of my schedule, things like that. These will just come in handy. Next, I got sticky clips. If you don't know what sticky clips are and you're a teacher, I am so sorry, but you need these in your life. They are seriously absolutely amazing. They are sticky, but they don't damage the walls. So you can put them on the wall. You can actually take them off and reuse them, which is incredible. And they just have this little clip and you can put a piece of paper up in there and it will hold them. Another little teacher hack for you. I use a lot of task cards with my students and I will put them up around the room. And in the past, I would always tape them up and then I would have to rip them down and then peel the tape off of them. And it was just a pain. So I actually started putting sticky clips up around my room and I leave them up the entire year. So then when I'm ready to use task cards, I literally just slip them right up in the clip it holds them all day and then I can easily take them down so if you have never used these before I highly 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 recommend that you check them out 
I also got some of these peel and stick magnetic dots. This was a 300 pack. The reason I got these is because they are very thin. I have used like magnetic circles in the past, but they're usually pretty thick. They're like a good quarter inch thick. These ones are actually very thin. So I think it may work a little bit better. I will use these for things like my schedule cards. I print them out, I laminate them. And then I like to attach everything to magnets just because it's really easy to take it off my board and then I can clean it when I need to. So that is what I plan on using these for. Then I got some actual magnets and I got a couple different kinds. First of all, I got the people magnets, which I remember my teachers having these back when I was in elementary school and I just thought that they were the cutest thing. I went with the lime green color just because I love bright colors and I got four of them. I think I already have two in my classroom and literally the past four years of teaching, I've only ever had two of them and I really wanted to get some other ones. I like these because they are super strong and I feel like a lot of magnets that I've tried are not strong and they slide off the board and it's super frustrating. So these are strong, plus they have the little clips. So these are great for holding posters or even papers up on your board. I just feel like I use these all the time. And then kind of along the same line, I also got some of these magnetic hooks. So this was a set of five and I got two of them, so I have 10 of these, but I really love magnetic hooks for hanging things on my board. You all probably saw in my classroom last year, I actually would hang my date because I hated writing the date every day. So I actually printed out cards with all of the different days on it and I would hang them on one of these and then I would just pull them off when I needed to and show the card behind it. So it was really easy to change out my date. And I just love having these little hooks. They were the perfect size and these are really, really strong. So again, they're not sliding down your board. Now we are on to like fun stuff. I don't know how else to categorize it, but I consider this fun stuff. One of the next things that I got, I think is my favorite purchase that I got out of all of this, honestly. And these are the People Colors Crayons. If you do not have these in your classroom, I highly recommend you invest in them because think about a regular pack of crayons. If a student is drawing a person, they have basically two colors, maybe three colors to choose from for their skin tone. They can choose between brown and they can choose between tan or peach. And I think we all know that people come in way more colors than that. And it's really important that your students feel represented and they feel like they can pick a crayon that represents their skin tone. Now, my students don't do a ton of like illustrations. That's more so primary grades, but there are some situations where my students are illustrating and they need to draw a person and they need to be able to color them in. So I love this pack of crayons because it gives them how many options? 24, 24 different skin tone colors to choose from when they're coloring, whether they're trying to color themselves, whether they're trying to color a friend or they've made up a character and they're trying to illustrate that character. It's so important that they have options that actually represent their skin tone or their friend's skin tone or another person's skin tone that they've kind of created up in their mind. Now I got just the regular crayons. They also come in jumbo crayons. So if you teach kindergarten or younger students, the jumbo crayons are better for them to hold on to. They also have colored pencils. And now I'm kind of regretting not getting the colored pencils. I probably should have gotten them too, but at least the crayons will give me a little bit of a starting place. I just got one pack for now, but I would love to be able to go back and get more so that my students have access to tons of different options. Next, I got some stickers because stickers just make me happy. Like, come on, I am a teacher. I know it's cliche, but still stickers make me happy. And these are any stickers stickers. These are scratch and sniff stickers. I think they're just, yeah, no, they're scratch and sniff. No, these are scratch and sniff. These are just scented stickers. But I remember in elementary school when I got like a scented sticker, I know that I did really well on that assignment and it was just such a good feeling. And like, I would just sit there and I would scratch it and I would sniff it over and over and over again. And if it brought me that much joy, I know it will bring my students the same amount of joy. And to me, I really want my students to feel valued. And when they've done a good job, I want them to know it. And we don't always have to reward our students with like physical, tangible things, but something as simple as a sticker, like I will gladly pay money to get scratch and sniff stickers to let my students know that they worked really hard on something and I noticed that and that really helped them learn and grow. So these ones are chocolate scented. They're like little donuts and ice creams and cupcakes and things. And then these ones are like emoji stickers and they are orange. And these ones are actually like the scratch and sniff. So super excited to use these with my students. I do like to put stickers on a lot of their papers, but things like this where they're a little bit fancier, I like to use on like tests or quizzes or larger assignments. I also got some happy birthday pencils. Some of you all probably remember last year I did a little birthday cup. So it was almost like a plastic, think of like a Frappuccino cup. And I just ordered those from Amazon and inside I put a little bit of candy and I put white tissue paper so it looked like whipped cream and then I would stick a pencil out of it. Now last year I used ones that had like a little eraser on top and a grip. I think I'm gonna keep it simple this year and I saw these and I really liked the bright colors. So I'm just gonna give them one of the happy birthday pencils and I probably will put like an eraser cap 
on top. But these came in a 24 pack, so I did have to get two of them because I have over 30 students. But the great thing is I will probably use only half of this pack and then I can use the other half next year and only buy one pack. Next I got some counters. So I really like to have games for my students for early finisher options and a lot of the games that I use my students need dice and they need colored counters. In the past I was just using regular like two-sided counters but they were not transparent and some of the games they really need to be able to see what was behind that counter to be able to play correctly. So I got some of these they are just like transparent counters. Each pack has a hundred so I got two packs. I think I have eight bins for gains so that'll give me like 25 counters per bin to put in there which should be plenty so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna organize them by color and put them into little containers and I'm, I'm excited about it <laughs> and last but not least I have some like content type resources and I'm really excited these are some like place value practice board now I really like this because a the colors each different place value is color coded it also labels the place value so it has ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands hundred thousands and millions I love that it shows my students where the comma goes because I feel like that's something always kind of difficult for them to learn but place value is like the foundation for everything else that students do and if they don't have a good grip on place value they're going to struggle so I wanted to get these to really help my students who kind of need that extra support with place value so I did want to have two just so I could have like one on one side of the table and one on the other side of the table but I love that it has the little ring and you can just quickly flip through the numbers and it just gives students a better visual and they can really attribute that to the name of the place value and finally I got some base 10 stamps and I actually got two packs of these kind of for the same reason that I just described but these things were amazing as soon as I saw them I was like yes I need those in my life right now it has a thousand stamp a hundred stamp ten stamp and three unit stamps so they're just wooden stamps I love that you can reuse these because I will tell you what <laughs> I have tried finding like stickers of these, but you run out of them. Um, your students can draw them, which is great too, but this just gives them an extra incentive that makes it a little bit more fun. And when you think about learning, there's three stages of learning. So there's the concrete phase. That's where students are using physical manipulatives. Then they move into the representational phase, and that's what this is. So it's not the actual thousands cube or the hundred block. It's a picture of it. Then they ultimately move into the abstract where they don't need that. But I thought that this was perfect for my students are in the representational phase and it just makes it a little bit more fun and exciting again place value is just so crucial in fourth grade so if I can use these stamps and help my students grasp onto place value a little bit easier I thought that that was fantastic plus my students do use base 10 blocks a lot of the times for like multiplying and dividing so I thought that using these stamps would be a really easy way for them to do that so that is everything that I got. In retrospect, it actually was not that bad. Plus, most of those items were part of the 20% off sale, so I actually feel like I did pretty good. Just a reminder, Lakeshore does have 60 stores nationwide. I will leave a link in the description box with a store locator so you can actually go on and find your closest Lakeshore store because if you go in and shop in-store and spend over $20, you can actually get a free lesson plan book. I personally did not take one only because I do digital plans now and I didn't want to take it if I wasn't really going to use it and I would rather leave it for another teacher but you can go get that added bonus grab those items on sale for 20% off get the door busters for up to 50% off I truly believe in Lakeshore as a company they have amazing customer service their products are super high quality and they are all designed by former teachers with education in mind they are great not only for teachers but also for parents if you're looking to get supplemental materials for your students at home if you enjoyed this video and I gave you some ideas for things you can grab for your own classroom, please give the video a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a new video. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so, so much. Don't forget to think positive and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you wanna check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. The links to all of my social media sites, my Teachers Pay Teacher Store, my Merchandise Store, and my Amazon Store are in the description box and I'll catch you guys in the next one.